it's interesting the relationship STEM has in early years because I think obviously at a, at a very it's, it's, you need to lay those foundations for that science learning and of, of course you're not giving necessarily giving them bunts and burners at the age of two um, but how do you think do you think there's a real need for us to rethink the way we do quote unquote STEM in the early years? Absolutely, hugely. Because um, there's loads of research just now on the way that our um, millennials, our kind of 18 to 25 year olds, our uh, brains are wired, and we are noticing that they're not committing to their studies. Uh, so, you know, seven young girls from one school went to university and only one stayed and six dropped out. You know, and that's the story all the time. And, and the science is suggesting that the these young people are looking for something new after six weeks, six weeks, six weeks. So in fact, we am hearing conversations that we're getting rid of schools and colleges and universities because they're no longer relevant. They're failing the children. You know, and why would you study four years of an accountancy degree, become an accountant for two years and then think, well, actually, I want to be a midwife and have to do three years of training. So looking at micro-credentials, looking at giving young people the vast array of skills and that's what we do in early years and have always done in early years and so STEM if you're, you're going to be successful in STEM subjects they need to be exposed to awe and wonder even when they're 18, 19, 20, 21 at university and, and most of the science degrees are not giving them the awe and wonder they're just it's, everything seems to be just going through the motions of it just now so if we are going to survive as a a nation that is ahead of the game in any of the, the science, technology and engineering and maths. Like my husband lectures physics and maths at Glasgow University and the way he describes science to me is if it's smelly and stinky it's chemistry, if it's gooey and slimy it's biology and if it's broken but there's a possibility you can fix it is physics. <laughs> and I love that and that's what we do every day in, yeah. in early years.